Hi all, welcome to another Dave Downey fly tying video production. This is the second fly I'm going to tie for the Christmas special, get it out to you. Uh, all the flies that I do tie, I, I, I do use, and, and I'm just going to show you the different ways of tying them, and the way I like to tie them. This fly used to do me a lot of damage on the Lake of Teeth, an awful lot of damage. So I just want to show you how to tie it. So, in the device I've got a heavyweight champ, bronze. I don't really like black ones, but I do sell them, but I don't really like the black ones, I prefer the bronze. Uh, it's a size 12. We're going to need some uni thread, as always, fire orange, 8 -oh. We're going to need some gold wire, small. We're going to need some gold and pheasant tippets. These ones have been dyed. I dyed them so I sunburst the orange. Then we're going to need some dubbing for the body. I'm using my my candy floss dubbing, which is a mixture of synthetic and uh, natural materials. And that's the dark olive number 16. For the hackle, I'm going to be using a dyed olive grizzle. Now, they're getting harder to get, but this is a Keo tires grade dyed olive. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of feathers on there, really, really good feathers. And you're going to get more than one fly out each each uh, feather. Now they're not cheap. I do have a couple left in stock, and as I say, they're getting harder to get a hold of. And the last part, we're going to need some J, blue J. All right. So let's get the fly started. So thread on. Take it down to the bend. Okay. Try not to catch point of the hook. Now I want to tie a little button here. So I'm going to continue past the bend. Alright. So we went past the bend of the hook. So we're going to tie a little bit of fluorescent orange thread in. Then we'll go back up. Then we're going to get some golden pheasant. Now I'd probably say six, seven, maybe eight. And you can see there's two bars on it, so we're going to tie it just before the second set of bars. Okay, that's needing to go in a wee bit because I think it's a wee bit too long for the tail. So I'm just going to push it back in. Right, then we'll go back down a bit. fine. Okay, so we're going to need to rip the fly. So, get a bit of gold wire. Catch it in. And then let's go up the body of the fly. Then we'll go back down again. Right, now we're going to get our trusty bit of wax, wax of thread, an awful lot of orange here. Orange is good for fish. Right, so get our candy floss dubbing, stick that on. Then we'll go back up. So touch and turns. Now I know some people take the hackle up the way. I like to just get down the way. Let's put some more dubbing on because we're a wee bit short there. Back up. Now we want to leave a bit of space at the head of the fly because obviously we've still got we've got a hackle to go in. Then we've got another hackle at the front. So let's prepare this hackle. Pull off the flue, catch it in. Okay, 
and then just trim that off. Now, you can use hackle pliers. I just use my fingers to be honest when it's a hackle that length. Now we're obviously going to make sure the hackle is facing that way, concave. I think that's the right word for it. Then we're going to space it. So we've basically got six turns of hackle in there. Right, then we're going to trap it in with a gold wire. One. And I just work the wire in between the gaps. Two. Three. And four. Then just give it a wee brush with your fingers. Just to loosen off any hackles that are trapped. And just catch the wire in. And shake and break. Right, so we're going to trim that off because that's going to, as you can see, there's enough there for another fly. Might be a 14, no. So you maybe use that for a size 14 next. Right, so all we want to do now, tidy the head up a little bit. And then we're going to do a dubbing look for the Blue Jay. So I've made my loop. Going to use some wax on the loop if I can get some of the stuff off with of wax. Right, so wax the loop up. Get our dubbing twister. I love this dubbing twister. It's fantastic. These stone foo ones. Okay, now I'm going to get my wee bulldog clip. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you this. We're going to try and stand up the blue fibres. We'll take off the ones that aren't blue. We're going to stand them up. Stand them to attention. So they're sitting up like that. They just look amazing. I mean, actually, I've seen the birds in the wild and they just look awesome. Right. And then catch it in a bulldog clip. Right. And then we trim it off. Now we're going to go about four, three, four millimetres away from the clip because we want it to be spread out. So you can see it sitting in the bulldog clip just now. Right, then we're going to present it in the thread. So we're going at the, the thick end of the thread and pull it tight and then just gently start to spin it. And after about ten spins you can let go with the bulldog clip and you'll see, see it going nice but as I said before don't do too many spins with that bobbin holder because what will happen is it will snap the thread then we're just going to wind it on now I could do it with hackle pliers but as I said I just use the, the, the bobbin twister then just Pull everything back and catch a thread in. Three or four turns. Right, it's a wee bit messy just now. That's because I'm trying to use a bobbin twister and I'm trying to tie it in. So what we're going to do is tidy the head of the fly up now. Because I want a wee orange head on it anyway. Any fibres, just try and pull them back. Right, I don't really, the head's okay, but it could be a little bit neater. There's one wee fibre down there that's getting in the way. Then we're going to whip finish. Two, three. One, two, three. And trim. So I'm just going to use a needle and make sure that eye is clear. Right, so just push it through. Make sure you're getting the thread out of the way before you varnish it. Then we're just going to put a bit of varnish on there.
it will need two coats because the first coat always sinks into the thread and then we'll do a second coat a wee bit later on and I just give the eye of the hook a little wipe and again before the varnish gets a chance to settle just stick the needle through a couple of times and give it a clean and there you go it's an olive bumble and it's pretty bright and it's an easy way oh we've got a bit of thread coming off just pull that off that that was the, the second whip finish so I'm going to pull that off and I'm going to trim it that tidies it up now I'm going to put some more varnish on Alright, so as I said before, we Christmas specials. Uh, be good if you let your fishing mates and their clubs know about my channel. Um, can keep it going. And uh, I hope you all have a good Christmas, a good New Year, and I hope that 2020 brings a lot of fish for a lot of people. Thanks. Speak to you later. Bye.